Hello and welcome to a new guide. Today we are talking about the French artillery. I will give you some ideas that you can win the game with an artillery advantage and how to use your artillery effectively. The selection of artillery is different depending on what maps you play, but I would not recommend using the 12 pound field artillery or the 22 centimeter howitzer. Why do you ask? Because they are way too expensive and on a small to medium sized map I wouldn't use them at all. I think it's more worth it to use the 4 pound artillery or if you want more mobility use the horse artillery. I know, I know. I said the Mitraeus is not that useful in the unit prioritization guide, but hear me out. I think it's a must have now, because it's only a little bit more to get the Mitraeus, and it does not have cumbersome, has the same range, and has range drill. It's so good. If you think I'm wrong, just play a few matches with the Mitraeus. Also, if you don't play the French, maybe your faction has the minigun. The minigun is basically the same as the mitrailleuse, but it has less range and has breech loaders. I see many players sacrificing the artillery for no gains or just lose the artillery before they even shoot. I don't have to say that, that that's absolutely stupid, but I know it's hard to protect the artillery. You can use cavalry to defend against cavalry. Wait, what? Yes, I think cavalry is the best to defend against enemy attacks on your artillery. If you never use this, definitely try it. If you have an artillery advantage, play more defensive. It's easy. Also, wait, I said don't sacrifice artillery for no gains. When is it useful then? I personally like to use the mitrailleuse as a grenade. Throw the mitrailleuse at the enemy and kill around two enemies and then explode or die just. Why does this work so well with the mitrailleuse? Because of the anti-personnel. This gives plus two damage if they stand in front of a unit or just one tile away from a unit. And because they don't have cumbersome, you can make five damage on a front hit and still move like nothing happened. Also, you can one-shot units if you give them a back hit. A back hit with a mitrailleuse, one tile away, makes eight damage. But when I don't use indirect fire from the mortar, I cannot shoot over my units. Blah, blah, blah. I'm now going to show you how to place the artillery that it is effective to use artillery. Artillery is the strongest on long range, so placing it on a hill is a good choice. To move your artillery fast, place them on a road that they are twice as fast at the front line. And let the infantry around it guard it. Also, I will place the artillery in the middle of the field so it can stop any movement that comes from the enemy infantry that wants to push over a river or something like that. On river path, you can place the artillery on the hill. Also, when you use the mitrailleuse, place it on the road on the left side or on the right side. But I would recommend putting it here. Um, hello, this is the test video. We are now going to test against the Germans or Prussians. So I have two grenadiers. I'm gonna let them do their thing in the attack column. Then get the metray. Also, wait, like I know that you can. <laughs> Okay, no, we're not gonna use that. But um, yeah, there, there's a bug that you can 
uh, exchange formations, so you could also have like a really strong cavalry. Yes, so um, we're just gonna start. I took the Mitreya for good damage. Grandiers because they are good. And the Carbinas for um, just uh, distract the enemy. Does he have croups? Yes, he has a croup mortar. And much uh, line infantry. So what are we gonna do? I see that he has a croup mortar. So I'm gonna sit back and um, and flank him with my Carbinas. If he doesn't defend against that, I'm just gonna um, charge him and then push forward. But yes. So yes, time lapse. He is still pushing with his artillery. Okay. Then um, that's why I got my mitraille back. Ah, oh, wait! I didn't do the orders right. Ah. So he reoriented it to his artillery. So, with my cavalry I'm now behind the enemy artillery, so it's gonna die. And after that I have an artillery advantage and can then go to the defense of the river and shoot with the mitraille on them down. As you see I place the mitraille on the road, so it's fast. I'm not used that yet, but I will. So now I can push onto the hill with my infantry and with my mitraille. I can go here. Shoot like here. So yes. So now I charged his artillery. That's how you play against artillery. Now I'm gonna shoot with my mitraille and rain hell on them. Okay, that didn't make too much damage. But if you have to mitraille in close combat, you're gonna make massive damage and the enemy will get overwhelmed very fast. Yes, there are some shooting orders and that was it. Now my cavalry is now useless no um the enemy artillery is now gone but it's still not useless you can still use it to um just block enemy attacks as well maybe that works very well most of the time also i'm now gonna make a risky maneuver if it doesn't work it's bad if it does work like it's gonna be perfect also, I'm gonna go on this map, and yes. As you see, my enemy isn't 
good as the Prussian. He doesn't know how to defend against cavalry. And that makes him a bad player. I hope you didn't shoot on my Mitraya. If you did, it's gonna be bad. Okay, no, he didn't. Now, see at this damage. Five damage as a front hit. Back hit is even better. So, as you see, he has five health left. I can do this. Charge this. And go back. I'm gonna do this first. Okay, he charged me, but that's okay. Is he gonna shoot me out of melee? Yes, he did. Wait, now I charged or what? Okay, I don't have to understand that. It's, it's, it's buggy. So, discovery is basically dead. I can now shoot on it and give some damage of the unit that's behind it. So if I go like this, this. Wait, why didn't. Okay. This game doesn't make sense sometimes. Because he his unit should have died also. Right, it's still okay. We won that, GG. And yes, this was my um test. As you see, I completely crushed my enemy. And yeah. Um now let's get to that. Hope you all enjoyed the artillery guide. The idea for this video I got from Gray. Did you like the test video at the end? Just write a comment about it and I will answer everybody that has a question or something like that. See you next time.